think I'm gonna get one of these there. Uh, that's what I need. Put right that there. up, dude. You don't need that. Hey, I do need this. Jace, put it up. If you had to have one weapon in the woods, what would you go with? One weapon? One weapon. What a ninja throwing star. Ninja throwing star. Why am I not surprised? Willie has this obsession with ninjas. You don't have the body type for a leotard. I think there's a weight limit on ninjas. When he takes off running, he looks like two possums fighting over a dead squirrel in a tow sack. You couldn't even get in a ninja suit. Real ninjas are, have all kind of different body weights. I think he's more like a sumo wrestler than a ninja. Have you ever seen Enter the Ninja? No. Oh, no. Philip McMillan. What? What's going on, duck boys? Jace? What about it, Dimples? Dude, nobody calls me Dimples anymore. Really? Because I just did. Jace and I have known Philip McMillan since high school. He's the guy who thinks he is the best at everything. When you're 21 and still in high school, yeah, you're pretty good at stuff. How's the duck business going? It's going great. How's the whatever you do? This is what you're into now? Riding lawnmowers in town? This is just my ride around mower. My racing rig is what I'm really proud of. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I hate lawnmowers. Let's get rid of them all. The world would be a better place. If you combine the time you waste cutting grass with the time you waste shaving your face, we'd be going to Venus, you know, and we could be doing whatever. You ever won any of these races? Yeah, I win them all. If you boys are interested, y'all might want to meet me up there for a little race on Saturday night. Are you challenging me? If y'all could put something together. You can talk any redneck into a challenge. I'll beat the crap out of you in the lawnmower. That's why so many rednecks die in such strange ways. Because he would rather be dead than disrespected. Well, get all your boys together, fix up whatever you want, and let's get it on. I just might have to do that. I'll be waiting. Put a darn shirt on, dude. See you at the races. Yeah, I hit him right in the forehead with a throwing <laughs> star. I was thinking. All right, stop what you're doing. Hey, I'm about to ruin. Hi, Si. Hey, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the sound you're used to. Look here, I love that Humpty song. Stop cramping my style, man. Hey, forget the duck calls. Mm-hmm. This is serious, boys. Look, here's the deal. We've been challenged. Who challenged us? Philip McMillan. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Needless to say, I can't stand the guy. Who can? Hey, he stole my favorite hat one time, and I got a sunburn on my head. He made fun of my beard. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, hey, you never insult a man's beard. You think we get either thunder or lightning. Either one. Where did you see him at? At the hardware store. Riding his lawnmower. I ain't never seen him on nothing else. He challenged us to a race. A race? What, racing lawnmowers? A lawnmower race. What we gonna do? Who, see who can cut the most grass? No, sir, a race. We get in a line and we race, and whoever's the fastest wins. So here's what I need you to do. We're gonna have a time trial at my house. Go get your lawnmower, meet me there in two hours. What are we gonna do, mow your grass? Sai! Uh, I don't know what y'all talking about. Bring your lawnmower. No, we're gonna go over and mow his grass. <laughs> All right, girls, today I'm making a duck gumbo for Papa Phil. But you know how you start off making it? You make a roux. You're making kangaroo? It's just called a roux. Well, what's that? That is a sauce. Hey, buddy. The older women teaching the younger women how to cook. Now, that's a good thing there. Isn't that a pretty picture? When you see your grandkids all gather around and Mama's showing them how to cook a roux, I consider that a very positive thing especially in this culture. What are we doing, little chickies? We cooking here? We're making gumbo. If she surprised me with a uh, duck gumbo out of clear blue, that usually means there's ulterior motives in there somewhere. 
She's up to something. Whoa! What's in the box, Miss Kate? Oh, this little country cottage I got for the girls, but I just need you to put it together. Yep, I, I get it now. Well, suppose I don't put this house together today. Well, suppose I don't serve you this gumbo today. If Miss Kay thinks she's going to get me to do her bidding by cooking me a gumbo, she's got another thing coming there. What is this, Dad? I don't know. I'll figure it out. What is it? Oh, wow. 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 No, well, the bottom line is I'm just glad I didn't have a house full of girls. Seems rather nightmarish to me. What is this, Dad? Where does this go? Don't just stand there. I'll pick it up. Yeah, put that over there. Ooh, I feel sorry for that poor soul that has to raise them. Glad it didn't happen to me. What in the world? Cuteness and sweetness is good with granddaughters for about, what, a minute or two? Tell them hit the road. Go back in the back room and play dolls or whatever they do. I tell you what, look, go see Miss Kay and then come back and I'll get it fixed. Peppa Phil, do you know what you're doing? I'll fix it. Are you sure? See you later. Good grief. Look, we're doing a time trial here. We're doing three laps to see who has the best motor, best driving skills, and all-around best driving demeanor. Now it's on to the time trials. It's time to take these mowers out in the open lawn and clean the pipes out. Does anybody have a lawnmower, like, post-1995? This thing's about 45 years old, but, hey, it'll still run. Hey, this is a 1965 Prague Menace Grasshopper. This one is made for leisurely driving, boys. You know, take it slow and easy, like the tortoise and the hare, boys. Hey, who won that? You know, it was a cat that took it slow and easy. Hey, it's the praying menace. <laughs> anyway, Jeff, what are you, what are you running? It's all I got is a push mower. What kind of race this is it anyway? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like... I think that team might have turned on you. Let's be honest, this time trial is just for show. I really just want the guys to come out and see how good I was on the lawnmower. I think I've got this thing locked down. Whoa, seriously? What are you doing? We've got our entire Duck Commander workforce sitting in my yard on old lawnmowers. We fixed out a lawnmower race. Time trial. Whatever. I thought y'all were kidding when you were talking about this. Well, I don't kid when somebody challenges my manhood. Hey, he started this war. This is about Philip McMillan. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if we're throwing rocks. But if he challenged us to who could fly a kite the highest, we'd all be out there with strings, you know? It's about manhood, standing up and being a man. This is what we do. All right, gentlemen, start your engines. Do I feel stupid? Oh, yeah. I'm on a lawnmower in Willie's backyard with other grown men. Would I rather look stupid than disgraced by a redneck? I'll take stupid every day. All right, uh-huh. Between the five of us here, I figure we can get this 10 acres cut, what, 30 minutes? Hey, this praying mantis, smooth cutting. It's like when a woman goes to a beauty parlor, okay? She went in there looking like an old hag, and then she comes out looking like Dolly Parton. Hey, get out of the way. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Hey, you want a man. Just like I thought, big winner. But my mower definitely needs some more speed. By the time I get through with it, I'm going to demolish Philip McMillan. It's time to get serious. I'm talking Philip McMillian. I'm talking right. Philip McVillan. Right. He's going down. He's going down. Play ya! Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Let's get it to the well, warehouse. Let's get out of here. Soup this baby up.
I knew I didn't need no directions on something like that. Good night. I figure the granddaughters will be happy, happy, happy when they see the grandpa architectural skills on a playhouse. Yeah, that'll work. Now, that's a fine piece of work right there. If I have to say so myself. What do you think? It doesn't look like the picture. Close enough. No. 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 Boo, you got parts all over there you hadn't even used. I can tell he's tossed the directions one more time, decided to do it all himself. But it's not looking right. What's that? That is where I think you take a leak. Women do not do that. That's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't think they're going to use the commode for anything. So I guess it was there just for decor. What do y'all think, girls? Are you fired up or what? There's not even a window. You want a window? Yeah. Well, you right want it right there. here? All right, back out of the way. You want a window? I'll give you a window. A chainsaw in this part of the country is a redneck's best friend. You can take trees down and cut your firewood up, or you can work on grandchildren's playhouses. They are ready to go. Way better. And what else y'all need to do to it? Nothing no. else. No, no. no. Standard equipment. I carry one with me all the time. Climb up in there. What do you think? It's cool. <laughs> Let's take it to a duck blind. Duck blind? Now you talking. I'm going to leave on that. I believe you girls are going to turn out just fine. All right, gentlemen, I think you know why we're all here. Why are we here? We're modifying this mower, you idiot. I told y'all. Hmm. Well, how you do that? We're going to beef it up. It's beefed up. You're sitting on it. Do y'all want to make duck calls? Is that what you want to do? No, I don't want to no. make duck calls. No. no, I like a project. Let's go with it. I'm going to take this regular, ordinary lawnmower and turn it into a super beast racing machine. I've done a little research. This is what I want this looking like. Good well, hey, you got night. a picture of it. Why don't we get that one? That belongs to Philip McMillan. That's some pretty good research here. Got off the internet. It was on his status update. So you're friends with him <laughs> on the internet? Not me, but another name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There you go now. Take on. You get a redneck working on a mower, you're going to get something awesome. You put five rednecks on a mower, you're gonna get something epic. How else can we drop weight? Although y'all are really not good at dropping weight. Good. Hey! Stop. 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 What are you doing? It's all about physics and our dynamics. Just trying to do my part, boys. These boys don't know nothing. And I, I don't know nothing, and I'm the best one there is around this bunch. What are, what are we doing? He said tear it apart, so we're tearing it apart. That doesn't look like the picture. Well, well she's got red up here. He builds racing lawnmower. He does what? Jimmy Red builds racing lawnmowers? Yep. What? Hey, Godwin, I know you're not the smartest pickle in the barrel, but don't you think that would have been pertinent information before we got ourselves in this mess? Does it go fast? <laughs> yeah, it goes fast, about 80. Why didn't you open your mouth? I ain't gonna build no duck calls. <laughs> I hope Jimmy Red's mower is a whole lot faster than this one, because we ain't losing the Philip McMillan. Here's what we do. We're gonna put all this back together. We're taking it back. Good luck with that. Hey, we'll do this tomorrow. That ain't that We're racing to tomorrow. Hey, we can do it in the morning. I'm serious. Hey. Good luck taking that back. Oh. Y'all push, I'm focusing. Focusing on what? Not doing anything? This is it. This is the big time. We got Jimmy Red's mower, and it looks fast as crap. Oh, here we go. Easy. Yeah, thanks for the help. There's no way we're losing. I'm going to beat the crap out of Philip in this lawnmower race. Whoa. Uh, they got some serious machinery here, boys. I'm telling you one thing, they don't look like they're kidding around. How hard can it be? When I accepted Philip's challenge, I didn't realize that death could occur. Don't be a coward. We can do this. I'm not quitting, because I ain't a quitter. You only live once, but I'm afraid of it. 
but I am a little concerned. What's the worst thing that can happen to you? I could freaking die. You me all right? Willie is not going to be OK. Let's go. Come on. My granddaughter said, let's go with a duck blind. And I said, well, now we are cooking with peanut oil. <laughs> are y'all fired up about these ducks or what? Yeah! I thought so. I said, you know, I am really proud of my granddaughters. <laughs> hey, you never know. They may turn out to be duck hunters. It is never too early to teach them. Well, look out there on that bench in front of you. See them lined up out there? And we're going to see what kind of shots you are. Rack them and stack them. For everybody who hits one of those ducks, that's a crisp $1 bill. I didn't hear any meat pop. I don't think I got it. No dollar for you. I'm trying to teach these grandkids of mine the Robertson way. Put your head down where you look right down the barrel. I think I missed. I made a valiant attempt, but I'm not making much headway. Put the front sight right on the duck, Merritt. She's fixed to shoot. Woo! You got him. <laughs> hey, hey, good work. Y'all some duck hunters now. Ladies and gentlemen, one more yuppie girl moved just a little closer to being a redneck. And y'all ready to play with dolls or duck hunt? Duck hunt! There's still hope for America out there. You girls may make rednecks after all. It's a start. It's a good day. They learned a good lesson there. Hey, were you serious about my dollar? I did say I'd give you a dollar, didn't I, if you hit a duck. You just like a woman. Thank you. All it takes is money. Welcome to the High Hamilton Saturday Night Lawnmower Races. Are you ready to assume the role of CEO if something were to happen? Racers, start your mowers. We can do this. We can do it. You're going down, duck boy. No, I ain't. You're going down. On your mark, get set. And all I'm getting from him is terror. He won't get off the inner track. He's driving eight miles an hour. He's scared to death. You're OK. You're OK. You're OK. These guys are fast, like supersonic fast. All I'm thinking about right now is don't die. Because if I die, in a weird way, Philip wins. Hey, look at Nick Miller. Looks like Philip McMillan's having engine troubles. I see that Philip's in trouble. I'm thinking, you know what? We can't win the war, but we could win this battle. Willie can take it. Go, Willie! Philip McMillan bringing up the rear. Forget winning the race. We just want to beat Philip. He's actually got a little speed builder down. is finish. It's a nail fighter to see who can take last place. And Willie takes the lead.
We'll take it. Right. You buy the whole seat, but you only need to eat. You were terrible, but hey, you didn't finish last. <laughs> Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Why don't you go back and get you an undershirt? Better luck next time. Take them Crocs back to the old trailer house. All right, let's go get something to eat. Hey, wait, we need to go put that lawnmower together. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. We also thank you for keeping old Willie safe during the race. Amen. 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 Right, let's eat. A wise man once said, you can't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. Philip McMillan needed his tail whooped in a lawnmower race. My nieces needed some quality redneck time with Papa. And I had the need for speed. Ow! Well, I didn't exactly get that either, but I did learn the value of having a great pit crew, and on the race of life, that's your family and friends. They're the ones that make you feel like you've won, even when you come in last. And that's better than any trophy in the world. Hey, Willie, the praying mantis cuts grass way better than the thing you drive. It has nothing to do with grass! <laughs> So basically, we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?